Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a look at what's going on with weather as we get into the course of the rest of the weekend and preceding the area into around Thanksgiving. Things are looking pretty quiet for right now, but we could see some more problems heading our direction as we get into late into the forecast. The next 10 days may show the possibility of some scattered chances of showers out there, but we're talking about very limited chances at best. There's really just not that much out there in the way of a lot of moisture heading our way. So if you're planning on going camping anytime soon, the campfire may again be something you need to check in with with the local fire department or the park service just to make certain that you're able to again make certain that everything is staying safe because wildfire danger is going to be increasing out there as we get into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Give me a second to get all of our Facebook viewers in here and to let them know a little bit more about what's going on for the Mid-South area. Again, pretty quiet for this morning. We're looking again at very dry conditions for the time being, but we could see some more changes taking place into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that here in just a little while. If you have any questions, please drop them into the comments section and let me know what it is that you're seeing or uh, out there where it comes to weather. We'll be glad to have you along for the ride where that's concerned. Dry across the Mid-South and points beyond. The cold front we saw yesterday has already made its way through the D.C. area for this morning. Washington, the Potomac, Potomac River and looking across into around the Capitol building. A few leftover clouds this morning, but that's about all that we've got for the area of rainfall out there as most of that front has moved offshore. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Current view of the Mississippi River, downtown Memphis, pretty quiet looking across into eastern Arkansas. Not seeing a lot of change at this point in time. Again, a few clouds from time to time, but that's about all we're really going to be seeing throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Traffic moving along pretty well this morning, just past 8 o'clock around I-240 in Poplar. Park Avenue, Quince area overpass, pretty nice. Some nice autumn colors showing up inside the 240 loop for this morning, but otherwise no problems, no backups, no incidents to report on the highway system. So again, definitely good news there. Windy Country Club, grounds crew out and about this morning, but not too many golfers seen across the area in southeast Memphis just yet, with some blue skies showing up there. Storm Tracker 3S across the metro area and throughout the rest of the Mid-South, we're just not picking up anything in the way of rainfall as we've seen over the last 24 hours. All that very dry air making its way into the Mid-South has been doing a very good job of keeping things very clear for us and not that much going on throughout the course of the rest of the area. Now, that cold front, if you are traveling, there is a little bit of some activity going on back to around portions of the Appalachian. Some light snow around Knoxville, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, all the way back up throughout the Appalachians, through about the Shenandoah Valley and into around portions of New York State and into around Pennsylvania for this morning. But that's about, again, all that we've got. There's the front itself, again, making its way right offshore from Chesapeake Bay and off into portions of the Atlantic. Some showers over portions of New England, even some snow showers in portions of the Adirondacks. The Catskills picking up a little bit of snow showers this morning, but that's a far cry from what we've been seeing out there. The cloud cover here in gray, that's being eroded as the dry air makes its way in from the northwest and gives us, again, some very dry conditions for the time being. So we're just not seeing a lot out there in the way of major problems. Chilly this morning. These, as of 8 o'clock, are the warmest numbers that we could find out across much of the area back in the lower to mid-40s. Winds occasionally picking up about 9 miles per hour at Memphis International. So that means the wind chills here are down to about 34, 35 degrees, and that's pretty breezy and chilly for this morning. So heading out the door to church, Sunday school, or if you are traveling out there, Something to consider just to make certain you ward off that chill for this morning to make certain everybody's bundled up on that. Speaking of traveling, taking a look at airport delays, lots of people in motion over the next several days, and we will be monitoring weather as well as travel conditions out across the Mid-South and points beyond to bring you updates on that as much as we possibly can over the next several days. This morning, Memphis International, the green icon indicating delays of 15 minutes or less, so everybody moving along pretty nicely, and that trend expected to continue north westerly breezes, mostly sunny skies being seen there. No major problems being seen across the continental United States. 
major and connecting airports not showing any problems. Usually we don't have too much in the way of travel problems early on a Sunday morning, but over the next several days as the number of people traveling for the holiday comes up, we will be seeing probably some delays and backups and stuff like that, so we will be keeping a very close eye on this into the next couple of days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Welcome to everybody on Facebook for tuning in and on Periscope and Twitter as well. Let's go ahead and show you more about what's going on with the forecast into the rest of the day. High temperatures today, way below where they were yesterday, back into the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. Those northwesterly breezes, the moving lines you see on screen, that's going to be, again, giving us those cooler temperatures into the rest of the day today. Tonight's temperatures by about News Channel 3 at 10, probably on a little late thanks to NFL going on tonight, and that usually pushes our time frame back by just a little bit. We should have an anytime newscast at least going on at 5.30 p.m. and a late edition of News Channel 3 at 10, but toward about midnight, winds will be light and variable. Notice the arrows are a little bit sort of confused and all over the place here. That means the winds will be light and variable tonight, so not much of a breeze to worry about, so definitely some good news on that. Uh, let's see, Terry Bentley, always enjoy the weather. Thank you very much. Good morning from Horn Lake from uh, Megan Walker Foster. Thank you very much. David Harmon, welcome and good morning to you. Phyllis Baker Lewis from Foley, Alabama, welcome to the show. Likewise, Carl Welch, thank you guys very much for tuning in on a very early Sunday morning. Very quiet as well. Now tomorrow's temperatures a little bit better. Going to be seeing again some numbers improving by just a little bit as those winds turn in out of the south and that'll help to kind of bump the numbers up a bit. But we will be seeing some cooler weather coming back our direction. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. On the 7 to 10 day forecast again, temperatures well below normal for this time of the year back into the lower 50s. That's about 10 degrees below where we were where we should be for this time of the year and about 20 to 25 degrees below normal from what we saw yesterday. Highs in the mid to upper 70s right before that cold front sliced right across the area. So this is going to be a little brisk for today, but it's going to be pretty nice out there as well for the rest of the forecast. Getting into the rest of the, the, the information again for Monday, could be some chilly conditions for the kids at the bus stop as we get into around tomorrow morning. So definitely want to make certain they're bundled up for those kids that still have school into tomorrow. Rest of the forecast into Tuesday. This will be about as typically November as you can possibly get for this time of the year, lower 60s or so, and looking again at some clear skies out there. Now, this will be right before a new cold front heads into the area. We're not seeing anything in the way of severe weather. Matter of fact, we're not really going to be looking at too much of anything involving rainfall whatsoever as we get from Tuesday into Wednesday. We will see some cooler temperatures. It's definitely going to be noticeable, 40s for highs on Wednesday, but little if anything in the way of rainfall. The reason for that is mainly because of the front that just came through. That's a powerful punch of cold air and more importantly very dry air. Some of this air is coming right in off of central Canada over the plains of Canada. Very dry not ocean based air so we're not going to see too much to worry about when it comes to anything involving uh, anything in the way of very heavy amounts of cloud cover or anything in the way of rainfall. So we've taken the rainfall out of the picture at this point in time but 60s on Tuesday 40s on Wednesday. Good news for travelers out there again. Not much going on the holiday on Thursday itself looks pretty good. Temperatures back into the lower 50s for highs. A little chilly in the morning, back into the upper 20s to the lower 30s or so. And then getting into the next several days, numbers going back into around the lower 60s for Saturday. Shoppers getting up and early on Friday. Temperatures will be in the mid-30s by the time you hit the stores out there for those doorbuster bargains and whatnot. And then pretty mild into the weekend, lower 60s for about Saturday. And then Sunday's temperatures back in the lower to mid-50s. Next best chance of rainfall the weekend see and this is a bit of a stretch for right now. We're just not seeing too much of anything outside of just some light scattered showers and this is again well into the future. Now so far last night we were looking at highs in the lower 40s so far, the computer's spitting out numbers of about the lower 50s for next Tuesday, but there still are signs of a major cool down coming our direction as we get into the early part of the week following the holiday weekend coming up. So by next Monday and Tuesday, not this Monday and Tuesday, but next Monday and Tuesday, we could be seeing some very chilly numbers 
out across the Mid-South. So I would keep an eye on the extended forecast and keep it tuned to News Channel 3, of course, for more on that. Thanks, everybody, for sending in some great pictures out there for this morning. We asked, you answered, and you sent in some uh, great ones out there. Linda P. Coleman, a beautiful view of some long shadows of sunrise from, I believe, the backyard area, if I'm not mistaken, from Olive Branch. So thank you very much for a nice view there. View from Vaught-Hemingway Stadium right before the storms rolled in yesterday. Some dark skies off to the north and west from 38677 Dispatcher in and around Oxford yesterday. Thank you for a very nice view. Hopefully everybody stayed safe while those showers and thunderstorms rolled through parts of Oxford yesterday. And a nice view from James R. Gulledge from Humboldt, Tennessee as the conditions out there changed the leaves to very cool. Apparently lost a few more of those leaves yesterday with those winds blowing on through the area. But some very nice views out there. If you'd like to see some of these, all you have to do is go to my social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. We'll be posting these as much as we possibly can. And we try to get them out there to other places as well, like Tumblr and also on WordPress. And again, featuring stuff like this on YouTube as well. So again, we'll get them out there, there to as many various social media sites as we possibly can. If you can't catch my forecast online or listen to it on TV, all you have to do is dial up Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll keep you updated on what's going on with the forecast there. And of course, we'll have more coming up tomorrow morning on AM 730 with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live. That's on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio in the Mid-South area. Questions, concerns, ideas, please let me know. Email me with any suggestions of stuff you would like to see on here, and I'll be glad to feature that as well. There's tons of stuff we could offer on here, but we just tried to give you kind of a nice sampling of what goes on across much of the area. So keeping you informed is what we do. And again, if there's something on here you'd like to see, please let me know. We'll be glad to feature it on News Channel 3 in our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 coming up throughout the rest of Sunday. And again, next newscast at 5.30 on Anytime and also on News Channel 3 at 10, Late Edition.